वेलकम टू वंडरस्लेट सब्सक्राइब टू आर टेलीग्राम चैनल गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन टू अपडेट्स एंड स्टडी मटेरियल्स टॉपिक फॉर टुडेज क्विज इज पोल्यूशन ऑफ एयर एंड वाटर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन व्हेन एयर इज कंटेमिनेटेड इट इज रेफर्ड एज ऑप्शन ए पोल्यूशन ऑप्शन बी एयर पोल्यूशन ऑप्शन सी गैस पोल्यूशन ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ द अबव The correct answer is option B air pollution when air is contaminated by unwanted substances which have a harmful effect on both the living and the non-living it is referred to as air pollution question number 2 dash is made up of smoke and fog option A snow option B cloud option C smog option D none of the above The correct answer is option C smog this is smog which is made up of smoke and fog smoke may contain oxides of nitrogen which combine with other air pollutants and fog to form smog the smog causes breathing difficulties such as asthma cough and wheezing in children question number 3 damage the ozone layer of the atmosphere option A chlorophyll option B chlorofluorocarbons CFCs option C CFL option D none of the above The correct answer is option B chlorofluorocarbons CFCs chlorofluorocarbons CFCs are a kind of pollutants which are used in refrigerators air conditioners and aerosol sprays CFCs damage the ozone layer of the atmosphere question number 4 sulfur dioxide SO2 and nitrogen oxides NOx released into the air by fossil fuel power plants vehicles and oil refineries are the biggest cause option A acid rain option B hailstones option C smog option D none of the above The correct answer is option A acid rain pollutants like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide gases react with the water vapor present in the atmosphere to form sulfuric acid and nitric acid the acids drop down with rain making the rain acidic this is called acid rain question number 5 deforestation leads to an increase in the amount of in the air option A H2O option b co2 option c so2 option d none of the above the correct answer is option b co2 deforestation leads to an increase in the amount of co2 in the air because the number of trees which consume co2 is reduced human activities thus contribute to the accumulation of CO2 in the atmosphere CO2 traps heat and does not allow it to escape into space as a result the average temperature of the earth's atmosphere is gradually increasing this is called global warming question number 6 lakhs of trees are planted in july every year is called option a forest festival option b van mahotsav option c chipko movement option d none of the above the correct answer is option b van mahotsav van mahotsav a week long festival of tree plantation is organized every year in the first week of july across india when millions of trees are planted This movement was initiated in the year 1950 by Union Minister for Agriculture Dr. Dot K M Munshi. Question number 7. The substances that pollute water are called water dash. Option A. Pollution. Option B. Pollutants. Option C. Waste. Option D. None of the above.
The correct answer is Option B. Pollutants. Whenever harmful substances such as sewage, toxic chemicals, silt, etc., get mixed with water, the water becomes polluted. The substances that pollute water are called water pollutants. Question number 8. Worldwide Fund for Nature, WWF, found that, is one of the 10 most endangered rivers in the world. Option A. Yamuna. Option B. Indus. Option C. Ganga. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option C. Ganga. Worldwide Fund for Nature, WWF, found that Ganga is one of the 10 most endangered rivers in the world. The pollution levels have been rising for many years. This condition is because of the towns and cities, through which the river flows, through large quantities of garbage, untreated sewage, dead bodies, and many other harmful things, directly into the river. And sadly, river is dead at many places where the pollution levels are so high that aquatic life cannot survive. Question number 9. An ambitious plan to save the river, called the Ganga Action Plan was launched in, Option A, 1988, Option B, 2000, Option C, 1985, Option D, None of the above. The correct answer is Option C. 1985, an ambitious plan to save the river, called the Ganga Action Plan was launched in 1985. It aimed to reduce the pollution levels in the river. However, the increasing population and industrialization have already damaged this mighty river beyond repair. Question number 10. The Ganga at Kanpur in Dash has one of the most polluted stretches of the river. Option A. Haryana. Option B. Madhya Pradesh. Option C. Uttar Pradesh. UP. Option D. None of above. The correct answer is. Option C. Uttar Pradesh. UP. Kanpur is one of the most populated towns in UP. People can be seen bathing washing clothes and defecating in the river. They also throw garbage, flowers, idols of gods and goddesses and non-biodegradable polythene bags into the river. In addition, Kanpur has more than 5,000 industries. These include fertilizer, detergent, leather and paint industries. These industrial units discharge toxic chemical wastes into the river. Question number 11. The harmful chemicals which are discharged into river contain dash, and, which lead to toxicity in plants and animals. Option A. Arsenic, lead and fluorides. Option B. Hydrogen cyanide, hydrogen sulfide and nitrogen dioxide. Option C. Mercury, lead, and formaldehyde. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option A. Arsenic, lead and fluorides, oil refineries, paper factories, textile and sugar mills and chemical factories. These industries cause chemical contamination of water. The chemicals released include arsenic, lead and fluorides which lead to toxicity in plants and animals. There are regulations to prevent this. Industries are supposed to treat the waste produced before discharging it into waters, but quite often the rules are not followed. The soil is also affected by impure water, causing changes in acidity, growth of worms, etc. Question number 12. The substances which contaminate the air are called Option A. Bad pollutants Option B. Waste substances Option C. Air pollutants Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is. Option C. Air pollutants. The substances which contaminate the air are called air pollutants. Sometimes, 
Such substances may come from natural sources like smoke and dust arising from forest fires or volcanic eruptions. Pollutants are also added to the atmosphere by human activities. The sources of air pollutants are factories, power plants, automobile exhausts and burning of firewood and dung cakes. Question number 13. Excessive quantities of chemicals which get washed from the fields into river act as nutrients for, to flourish. Option A. Fishes. Option B. Whales. Option C. Algae. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is. Option C. Algae. Ponds which look green from a distance because they have a lot of algae growing in them. This is caused by excessive quantities of chemicals which get washed from the fields. These act as nutrients for algae to flourish. Once these algae die, they serve as food for decomposers like bacteria. A lot of oxygen in the water body gets used up. This results in a decrease in the oxygen level which make ill aquatic organisms. Question number 14. Contaminated water can cause infections like dash and option A. Cold, cough and flu. Option B. Cholera typhoid, and jaundice. Option C. Malaria, dengue and H1N1. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is. Option B. Cholera, typhoid, and jaundice. Water contaminated with sewage may contain bacteria, viruses fungi and parasites which cause diseases like cholera, typhoid and jaundice. The bacteria present in the feces of mammals are indicators of the quality of water. If water has these bacteria, it means that it has been contaminated by fecal matter. If such water is used by us, it can cause various infections. Question number 15. Water which is suitable for drinking is called water. Option A clean. Option B. Potable. Option C. Processed. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is. Option B. Potable. Various physical and chemical processes in the sewage treatment plants help to clean water before discharging it into water bodies. Similarly, Municipal bodies treat the water before supplying it to households. A popular household filter is a candle type filter and we also use boiling as method for obtaining safe drinking as boiling kills germs. Question number 16. Respiratory problems are caused by pollution. Option A. Water. Option B. Air. Option C. Noise. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option B. Air. Many respiratory problems are caused by air pollution. Vehicles produce high levels of pollutants like carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides and smoke. Carbon monoxide is produced from incomplete burning of fuels such as petrol and diesel. It is a poisonous gas. It reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood. Question number 17 is a commonly used chemical method for purifying water. Option A. Chlorination. Option B. Oxidization. Option C. Chlorophyll. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is. Option A. Chlorination. Chlorination is a commonly used chemical method for purifying water. It is done by adding chlorine tablets or bleaching powder to the water. We must be cautious. We should not use more chlorine tablets than specified. Question number 18. Reduce, reuse and should be our mantra to save water. Option A. Repeat. Option B. Regenerate. Option C. Recycle. Option D. No of the above.
The correct answer is Option C. Recycle. We can think of creative ideas like reusing water used for washing and for other household tasks. For example, water used for washing vegetables may be used to water plants in the garden. Pollution is no longer a distant phenomenon. It is affecting the quality of our daily lives. Unless we all realize our responsibility and start using environment-friendly processes, the very survival of our planet is in danger. Question number 19. Air is a mixture of various gases. One of the gases is 21% part of the air and is essential for the survival of human beings. This gas is Option A. Nitrogen Option B. Oxygen Option C. Ozone Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option B. Oxygen. Oxygen, a colorless, odorless reactive gas, the chemical element of atomic number 8 and the life-supporting component of the air. Oxygen is a very important element because we need it to live. Question number 20. The type of pollution which is likely to affect Taj Mahal in Agra to a greater extent is Option A. Air pollution. Option B. Water pollution. Option C. Soil pollution. Option D. Noise pollution. The correct answer is Option A. Air pollution. Taj Mahal located in Agra has become a matter of concern. Experts have warned that pollutants in air are discoloring its white marble. So, it is not only living organisms that get affected by polluted air but non-living things like buildings, monuments and statues also get affected. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.